Sawyer is a very happy baby all the time. She always smiles. She always likes to play and talk. We thought maybe it was just a birthmark or maybe um, just something from, you know, her being born. Her doctor did tell me that it was a hemangioma. And uh, the only thing she really told me about it at that time was to just watch to see if it starts to protrude out any. And she said it'll go away. It really didn't show a whole lot at first. Um, then we kind of noticed, kind of starting to swell up. Uh, her cheek was a little hard. She had a spot kind of close to her temple and her eye was starting to swell up. Uh, between that time and the three weeks later that she had the MRI, it had grown extremely large. The MRI showed that it had um, grown behind her eye and that it was pushing her eye forward. I was thinking all kinds of things. Um, I was very worried, just I didn't have enough information about it. She's a special situation because she has what we call a segmental hemangioma of the face. And so I wish she had been sent to us a little sooner because she's one where clearly her eye was getting displaced forward and that could be, you know, an emergent situation. So she needed treatment immediately. Our first appointment with Dr. Wright, we took Sawyer in and um, I know I was a little concerned just in the lack of information I'd already been given about it. Um, so I was actually really relieved we went in and Dr. Wright was very informative as far as, uh, you know, it's something that we need to take care of right away. When we see them like that on the face, then they're at risk for this syndrome called face syndrome, P-H-A-C-E. And that means that they can have a whole um, constellation of other findings, but the main thing that we really worry about is abnormalities in the blood vessels and the neck and to the brain. If you take a medication like propranolol, which can, can lower your blood pressure, you could potentially precipitate a stroke if you're not careful and you don't know what you're doing. So it's always really critical that we get that imaging so we can be aware of what is in there and what complications we might have. Dr. Wright was on top of everything. She basically already had everybody in on it that needed to look at her MRI and be involved in the treatment process. So it was a relief that we could just get it all taken care of in one day as opposed to seeing her and then having to wait a week or two. They really were considering her well-being as far as getting it taken care of as quickly as possible. You really have to do something quickly to try to get the eye back into place. You know, there's pressure getting put on the optic nerve. There could definitely be permanent damage. So the conversation was basically she needs propranolol and she needs it fast. It's really great just because how quickly there was a change. I mean, it, it was 24, 48 hours. It was, it, the spots weren't hard anymore. They were softening up. Fortunately, she's responded really well and her eye, you know, went back, you know, down. The hemangioma behind her eye shrank really well and her, the displacement of her globe was a lot, lot better. Sawyer can open her eyes fully now. She can. See her, you can see her big blue eyes. She's able to kind of use that eye to look around as opposed to it being like stationary where it had pushed against it, keeping it from being able to move. The swelling has gone down drastically. There's no hard spots and the color has changed a lot as where it's just the kind of splotchy red here and there. It's really such a relief.